I'm heading back to the shop to, to, uh, to hook up with Lucas. We have a meeting set up today with Travis Van Torn, who's a general contractor from Fargo, North Dakota. Travis had got a hold of us on the telephone and um, is looking to do um, a detail in a house he's building using reclaimed material. On, on the conversation that I had with Travis, I got the impression that he's very concerned about the product being authentic. Well, when we meet him, we're going to take him out and, and show him that the product is authentic. Hi, yep. I'm Lucas. Lucas? This is my partner Mike. No, I'm Mike. Mike. Nice to meet you, Travis. How was the drive? Uh, it was long. <laughs> you started at 5 in the morning. Long and tired. My name is Travis Van Dorn, owner of Van Dorn Building Company. I'm based out of Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm doing a spec house here right now. And the details inside this house call for reclaimed lumber. So, word on the street is this Mike guy with the barn doggers is the cat's pajamas with a selection on reclaimed lumber. So that's why I traveled down to southern Minnesota to see what he has for me. This particular home, Dudley's Rush, is going to be uh, a featured home. What, uh, what you, Dudley's Rush? Is Dud that like the street or is that... D Dudley's Rush is the name. It's actually a, it's a local prairie grass, and okay. it's a, a home on the prairie. It's kind of a prairie style, so it just needed a What's name. What's a good play on words? Yeah. So you really do love these homes. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're trying to make a an accent wall with farm work. Yeah, so it's it's a, a a floating detail basically. Uh, like you'd see in a ceiling, but in the wall. Watching Travis sketch out his detail on a piece of scratch paper, I could tell that Travis is much more of a craftsman than just your traditional nail pounder. He has um, a, a, a passion and he, he's more of an artist than a general contractor, and it's someone I really am looking forward to working with. And, and this, like that. yep, that's just one quick pass through the planer, but this is a, see this also has the ray flecking in it, also has your nails, but now, and you can highlight that ray flecking, Travis, with a, with a dye stain, I mean you can make that stuff pop. These are out of that chicken coop, because right, okay. this is literally chicken shit. <laughs> So, oh, that's, yep. how that. that's how it looks like that. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then, you know, the, the old shit is the key. <laughs> like I'm looking at this uh, hinge here. Do you have a lot of hardware? Or? We save as much. We save all the hardware, Travis. And we save it. What we'll do is we'll start throwing it in buckets. I think this is a pretty neat hinge. I, I just like. Oh the, yeah. Yeah, ain't that the spiraling? Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm doing this bench outside that's going to open up. It's pretty rustic, and that would work well for a showpiece. Yeah. I don't know what the proper definition. I don't know where they came from. I, I don't know if it's an implement piece or. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Farming throwing stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a really good time rummaging through all this old reclaimed lumber. It's just so much fun and my wheels are spinning thinking of things I can do to utilize this material. And I even really like the antique hardware. What, what is that? Is that pine? What was that? That, that gray right there? This, this guy? Right here? Yeah. Oh, it's red this wood. is actually... It's red wood? We took this off. We left most of the nails in it. Yep. No, that's something that could stay or they could be. You could pop them all I would, I would prefer to keep them. Keep them in. Okay. I'm pretty pumped up. I think Travis really liked the redwood. So more so than a couple of the other samples that I showed him. This is a beautiful mantle. Like on this product, you'd have to seal it with a, because I think it was a treated product at one point. Okay. You know, so yeah. it's got some smells and stuff to it, but just the variation of color is crazy. That's been outside for probably 60, 70 years. When I first come across them, my thing was that it's the perfect dimension for a mantle. If you don't mind me asking, what's something like this run, somebody? To me, I see this as um, a $175 mantle. Yep. That's what I see it as. It's hard to say what right. something like that's worth. It has a story, you know, that's right. invaluable. A new board, I'd have a better idea. But reclaimed, you guys have harvested it, 
you know, a lot of time and energy goes into that. These mantles are cool. I love the story. I love everything about this this material and uh, my mind's spinning to use them in the future. But right now for this project I'm working on, this redwood, I'm really leaning towards for the for the details I have in Dudley's Rush. The, the Klossa barn provides a rich history and we had the privilege to sit down with Jim and Jane Klossa and hear some of the stories. The stories of Bob, Jim's brother, who lived his whole life and, and worked and was a steward of the land. Their father, Felix Klossa, who, who was the creator of the farm that provided work and food and produce during the Great Depression, through World War II, Vietnam, the whole era till our present time. But it's gonna be important that we get Travis Barn Doglin out to Jim and Jane Clausen's barn so he can see the siding in its natural state on the barn yet. He can get an idea of the color, the depth, the contour of it to see how it worked in his detail. Yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking. Well, that's, that's why we wanted to bring you over here, Travis. Like, I can't help it that it's negative five, but we're gonna to have to take a look at this. This is coming in its natural state. And if this is what you're looking for, we want you to see it on the barn. We want you to be able to take this back to your house there, that Dudley's Rush, and, and put it up. This came from Bob Clausen's barn in rural Plainview, Minnesota in Wabashaw County. This stuff is probably from the 1920s, 1930s. We're just, we feel fortunate or we're glad to have met you and, and find somebody else that maybe shares a little bit of our passion. And you can take this back to Fargo and, and at least you can tell them where it came from. So excited today, I'm leaving with 130 square foot of this reclaimed redwood. I saw it on the Clausen barn and it's just beautiful and it's gonna fit the home. It's gonna be an awesome addition to this house. It's gonna add so much character. I cannot wait to build this detail. I am very touched that the wood that Barn Dogglers has reclaimed is going to be used by Travis in his house. It'll, the history will be preserved. It'll be reborn by Travis. It, it, it makes me feel good that the history of the Clausen Barn is gonna live on somewhere else for another hundred years.